okay, do I have sound now? I can't tell because mine says I do. Okay, thank you, darling. Thank you. It's weird because I have three different ways I can do volume, and it's my two mini cams and my or my webcams and my computer. Okay, good. Thanks, you guys. And my when I went to go opt on which one I wanted, it gave me four options. I don't know. You guys know I've been having weird computer issues. I have a new one coming, but it's coming tomorrow. So for those of you that are behind, because I still see a few people saying no sound, make sure you change your chat, and I'm gonna do it right now to live chat. Make sure you change it, it's right above the chat where it says live chat and top chat. Change it to live chat, and make sure you drag your bar all the way to current time. That's really important, especially with bingo. So make sure you do that. Um, Anyway, you know I've had computer issues. If, for whatever reason, there's an issue, I will reboot, restart a new page. So if something should happen with this one, go back to my page, you'll see it. I'll put a link in here, we'll be good. Um, so numbers, Kathy Garrett, your numbers are 11, 18, 15, four, and 14. And I saw somebody else Oh, nice, Jennifer. Um, oh, Nancy Lee, no worries. We're just getting started. Um, somebody else needed their numbers. So if you can post it again that you need numbers. Oh, can I get numbers? Robin from Florida. Robin, I don't have you on my list, and I am sold out this month. So completely sold out. So if you can... Uh, if you'd like to join next month, there's a link below for May Bingo. I'd love to have you guys. Um, okay, Yvette, 357 11 357 Tracy, 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 Tracy. Uh, 6 11 14 21 27. Would you mind reading my numbers, please, uh, Patricia? 1, 7, 13, 25, 27. 1, 7, 13, 25, 27. Okay, I'm looking to see if everybody else. So, Robin, unless this screen name's different, um, I don't have you on my list. So, let me know. All right. Just double checking. Okay, everybody's got their numbers. Me too, need my numbers. Oh, Katie. Katie, Katie. 179 25 28. Okay, so Katie's the last one I saw that needs numbers. If there's somebody else, let me know. Um, so I'm gonna explain, we have a lot of new people tonight. So I'm gonna explain how it works. We are gonna start crafting. I'm gonna create the first project. Oh, I gotta get my bingo numbers, hold on. Hold on, I'll let you look at the first project that we're gonna do while I'm grabbing my numbers. Funny story about grabbing my numbers is I couldn't find my numbers. We did the move, I remember that I put them uh, someplace safe and I could not find them, but I found them. <laughs> so I thought, uh oh, and I need to make new ones because I wanna do the new in colors, but uh, like I did last year. All right, everybody has them. Um, okay, um, so anyway, on to it, bingo. We're gonna create our first card. We're going to, um, I will show you the cards. You don't have your kits yet. I have them uh, packaging tonight. Labels are made for shipping. They'll probably honestly go out on Thursday because I have a lot to package. So I will get those packaged and I will get them together and I will um, get those shipped out probably Thursday. Tonight, it's a time to relax, chat, enjoy yourself. We, um, a lot of the same people are here, but we have a lot of new people tonight. Um, once the first card is done, and I should say first project, because it's not always a card, the first project is done, we will play bingo. I give away four $100 prizes, and that's to go shopping on my shop. Okay, so what you would do is send me your order. 
I will put it in the system. I will take a screenshot of the total and whatever the total is minus $100, you will send to me. I will put your order in. It will ship directly to you. Um, and we will do that four times. So project bingo, project bingo, project bingo, project bingo. And so that's how it's played. Now, when you want to make sure you are signed into your Google account, you want to be able to make sure you can chat. So when I call a number, so let's just say for luck that I call 28. When I call 28, if this is one of your numbers, and let's say it's your first number, you're going to put a B. If it's your third number, you should already have B, I, N, and then when I call it, you hit enter. So have your next letter ready to go, and as soon as I call that number, hit enter. Because when I call bingo, the first person to hit enter that I see scroll, because I just stare at it, and when I see it, they win bingo, okay? And then there is a consolation prize for the, um, the runners up. So you'll get a little something, okay? Now, um, I've taken kind of a poll and talked to people and asked if they had any problems and we've decided because people have asked if you win a bingo consolation prize so you get a second place um, and you would you know get a little something in the mail from me you can opt out and continue playing bingo for the next however many games are left because once you win you cannot win again okay so you can't get a consolation prize and another bingo so um, I want it to be fair for everybody to try and win and so that's kind of what uh, we decided to, to do. Can the winners take advantage of the recently announced free shipping day? Hmm, Katie, good question. If you want to wait until the 21st, I don't see why not. Um, your order has to be in April. Free shipping day is perfectly fine with me. So um, yes, I, I can put your order in on the 21st for free shipping. Sure, good question. Uh, oh, Stephanie and Olivia, I'm totally ignoring you. And darling, good luck, ladies. Okay, so that's about it right now. I do want to let you know that May Bingo is up for um, registration. It's ready to go. There is a link below to register if you go to my blog, which will look like this. You're going to go to shop right here, and this is the same place for paper shares, so I'm gonna show you how it works. Bingo paper shares right here, you're gonna click on that, and then you're gonna scroll down. Now, obviously right here you would think, okay, I'm just gonna add it to cart and click right there. You do not want to do that. The only thing you wanna to add to cart is when you go into the retired items, if you're looking for a stamp set, you do the same thing, go to shop, retired, stamps and then you can just add those to cart because you know what they are but here i want you to click on this information so you're going to click on the information and it's going to open up like this and you're going to have your bingo here's your information here's the cost the date i'd like you to register by the 13th to guarantee a kit um, i just find it easier to get my kits ready before bingo so i can ship them out and I do make a lot of extra, like I think I made 15 extra um, just last week and they're already all sold. So, and then you have your registration form here. Okay, and then when you scroll down, you have your payment here. Okay, so that's how it is for the paper share. And that is also how it is for the bingo. So I hope that helps. So make sure you click on the information, the title, and it will take you in and give you all that information. So I hope that helps. Um, let me see here. Oops, well, I just clicked off of something there because I was on my blog. Okay. Um, is there a May class? Not yet, Diane, I have not scheduled one yet. Um, mostly because we're not really certain what's going to be available. Um, I am thinking of doing one in the hues of happiness um, because I really like that class. So that's what I may end up doing. So let me 
fix something here because this is starting to jump around on my screen. Um, when I go to my, my blog, it's on the actual internet site. And when I clicked off of something else, I've got YouTube flickering down here on the corner. So I had to fix that. Uh, 24th is my birthday. Oh, very nice, Angela. Kathy needs her numbers. Okay, Kathy. Five, eight, 16, 17, and 29. And I glanced at everybody's numbers. I don't think anybody has numbers over 30. If you do, make sure you let me know we need to change it. Um, I don't see any at first glance. So let's get busy and get started. We have a lot to do. And here we go. All right, so um, this is our first card. And I actually did see this card. Um, I've done this card multiple times, something exactly like this, but I saw that somebody did the scoring on this and I just really liked it. So um, I decided to do the scoring also. And so you're gonna get your package just like this one. So let's take our pieces out. When you get your kits, it's going to be just like this. You're gonna get all your little pieces together. Make sure you get all your little rhinestones. I'm gonna put those right there on the, right there. So if I lose them, that's where they are, right there. Because you guys are gonna to have to tell me. We're gonna use the happy birthday. Um, so this set we're using is the Sweet as a Peach. I love this set. Um, I should have went online to see how many things are still available um, that we're using because I tried to use what was still available in the store because some things are leaving um, and I, I didn't get to do that right before this started. So, hi Robin, how are you? Um, so I'm in Clovis, California, right in the middle of the state and it's a beautiful day today. I don't think our weather can decide what it wants to do, but um, it's okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's just get our sentiment out of the way since I have it right here. I'm just going to, I put a brand new blade on right before I cut our papers, but it seemed like some of them got a little, you know how they stamp when you have an old label and that's what it feels like, but I'm like, it was brand new. Okay. So I cut the papers for you. My head might get in the way because I'm going to try and stamp this nice and straight. And this is the hard part. I like to stamp before I cut, but when we're doing bingo, you know that I cut so you have your paper. And there's been an ongoing kind of dilemma about that because some things, and I'll, I'll explain as we go along, but some things you don't want to, I mean, I cut them for you, but seriously, if you have the stamp set, it makes sense that you stamp it and then cut it yourself, which you know you probably do, but um, it's just kind of a weird, I don't wanna not send you paper, but in some instances it seems kind of silly to me, but if you don't have a stamp set, then you're gonna do something completely different. All right, we're gonna just add this on here right in the middle. I just lay it down and we know here that we're going to need to move it over. So I'm just going to move it where I want it. Okay. So you're going to lay it down, but you don't push it down until you get it where you want it. And I think I need to move it down a little bit here. Yeah. So my new computer was supposed to come today, but it didn't, but that's okay. It'll be here tomorrow. I'm kind of glad because there wasn't really much time today. I had a busy day. I got my hair cut. And just things to do. Okay, so we're going to put our white and let's add our DSP here. You know what? I'm going to crank the air on a little bit in here because it is warm. I just told my husband, I said, it is warm in here. I turned the fan off because I don't want it blowing in your guys' ear because you could hear it. Okay, I think it's going to come on now. All right, so let's go ahead and adhere this. 
so on the inside what I did here and the good thing about getting your kits is you guys can um, measure and write everything down you will get a DSP for our 3d item today but did I say DSP Wow you are going to get a PDF for our 3d item and I will get that emailed out to you Okay. Um, Carol Jacobson, if you are on here, I don't have numbers for you. That's the only person I do not have numbers. I emailed you. So if you are on here, please give me your numbers. All right. So we're going to put this on here like this. that down and all the way to the edge all right I know I asked you guys did you guys watch American Idol the other day I asked you I don't know if you guys watch it but I love American Idol I just cannot not watch it sometimes you know when you watch certain shows and you're like I'm not watching this anymore nope that is not this one oh thank you Robin thanks for checking I should have checked I was crazy busy today and I did not check. Okay, so you can push this in, you can pull it out, but I don't want the white to see, so I'm just gonna push it all the way to the inside. So it's up to you when you do your measuring, if you're if this is a card you're gonna remake or whatever, just kind of decide what works for you. I'm gonna push this in, probably right to there. Okay, so there's that. And this is going to cover up part of that anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. We're going to do a lot of um, just some layering. And I am going to do these a little fast. I know you guys have these on video. Um, okay, everybody else is in focus. You're okay. Um, Nancy... Um, Nancy Lee, just refresh maybe. Maybe that'll help. Okay, so when you're adding your layer, you want to make sure that you're aligned, you know, with your top and bottom over here. So it just kind of looks like it's all layered together. And now we're going to layer these. And the tulip paper is so pretty and it's leaving. So I just really wanted to use it and um, maybe, you know, if you guys have it, this is just a good way to, you know, use up your DSP. So my thought on a couple of these cards were um, use up what you have, actually a lot of these cards, use up what you have. Okay, we're going to bring that in because we're just about done here layering. And um, I mean, look how pretty this DSP and this could be like a scrappy piece and this is a smaller than a whole panel. So it's a great way to use up some of those pieces. And this is one of my favorite ways to use DSP. And this paper is so pretty. You know, I had that tulip class, so I had a lot of, a lot of paper left over. Okay, we're gonna add that on here. Let's add this and I did glue it straight down and I did the black to where it goes on the black and you can make it as long or as short as you want this one's a little bit longer it's totally up to you this one I went all the way to the edge because I wanted this to show here I didn't want it in the middle I wanted it to go a little over more so I went right to the edge so it's whatever you want to do but I'm gonna add this to the card first so I can kind of decide where I want it to go. Okay. So let's go and we are gonna add dimensionals to it. So use your dimensionals. Now what I'm gonna do, besides flipping my, my dimensional cover here off, um, I'm gonna lay this right about here and kind of decide I'm going to move it up so look at your score lines 
I want to move it up kind of in between, except I don't want it upside down. So right in between there. So this is what I did, is I'm going to add these here. Okay, so I'm now I'm going to do it upside down because this one came off. I'm going to do it right about there. And I'm going to put one right here because I know the card's going to go right about there. And I'm going to put this one right about there. So you know that your card is going to be within those lines and these you can kind of put where you want and you're not worried about this showing. So we can take that off now. Take these off. And now I'm going to pull it a little closer so I can kind of be over it. Just kind of put my fingers right under there just to kind of get an idea of where I want it. And it's right side up. That's a good thing. All right. I'm going to do that. And now I'm just going to add some adhesive on here. Thanks to Shauna. Nancy Lay, I hope it worked for you. All right, so I'm just going to go, you know, kind of, kind of eyeball it. You can put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it right just a little lower than half. I'm going to go to the edge. And I'm good with that. And now we got to bring our little stones back in that I don't want to lose. You're going to get one larger one and then two smaller ones. I'm going to put the small one. Uh oh, this one's coming off my little adhesive here. So I'm just going to fold it back over. There we go. There we go. And then I just put one right here. All right, so there is our card. Nice and simple. That's a great way to, to use up your DSP. And there's so many strips and things that sometimes we end up with. And like I said, when I did my bingo or my um, tulip class, I had a lot left over. So that was a great way to use this up. So there we go. Have you ever thought of just selling the PDF like you do for the classes for people outside the US? Just wondering. Um, you know what, Bonnie? I can do that. I, I, you're right. There's a lot of people that are, um, that are doing that. Um, let me think about that. I'm going to get back with you because there's some pros and cons to it. So let me think about how I can do that for you. I think if you're out of the U S I can definitely, um, um, sell it to you, but let me, I got to think of how I would post it on there. But, um, anyway, so here you go. That's card number one. So I bought these little buckets from Ikea when I redid my room and I've got every project in a bucket. It works out really nice. So I'm happy with that. So that's what I'm going to be tossing my projects into. Yay. Project one is done already. Oh, you're welcome. So many times you, you end up with just these little strips of DSP and you're like, well, what am I going to do with this? It doesn't, you know, it doesn't match this or measure this or whatever. And so it's a good way. Find a, a you know, create a card that if you have a lot of little strips, like I have a lot of these and these are the inside of a die and I'll show you because we're going to get to that project. So this will probably be on your next project. <laughs> Just saying I have a lot of those. Okay, let's play some bingo. Are you guys ready? Yay, yay, yay. Let me clean up my mess here. Oh, no problem, Dana. Linda, I hope you join us. Uh, May's, May's sign up is linked below. I'd love to have you. And what's really going to be fun is we're going to have new product next month. All right, first number is 23. 
Make sure you're on live chat. Make sure you're all the way current with the time. Ooh, and Angela's already got a B. All right, we have number six. The first one's gonna go a little quick. Remember, if you're new, have your B typed and ready to go. As soon as you hear your number, you hit enter. Number nine. The first five go fairly quickly because you can't get a bingo until the fifth one, right? Number three. Dana has a B-I. Look at a lot of Bs. Cheryl, B-I, Angela, and 30. So now I'll wait just a bit. Make sure everybody's caught up. Wow, there's a lot of Bs. Ooh, B-I-N, Dana. Guess you don't have to take that phone call. <laughs> Good job, good job. All right. Next number is 29. 29. Next one, 27. Well, there's some popular numbers today. Lots of Bs. I think everybody's in. 17. B-I-N for Kelly. Seal's in with a 17 probably. Kathy's in with a B-I now. Number eight. So if there's anybody new that has questions, so anybody with a B-I-N, they've got three numbers out there. So that's how it works. So make sure you have your numbers typed and ready, your letters typed and ready. Ooh, Kelly has a B-I-N-G. I guess she does know what's going on. 13. Ooh, Kelly, B-I-N-G. All right. Ooh, Kathy with the B-I-N-G. Kelly, you have a bingo? All right, let's take a look. Wow, Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Three, eight, 13, 27, and 30. Kelly does have a bingo. Yay, Kelly. Congratulations. Does anybody else have a bingo? Congratulations, Kelly. Yay. Okay, let me write this down. Bingo number one. All right. Congratulations, that's awesome. All right, I don't see any more, so we're saying Kelly is the bingo winner of bingo number one. Oh, good, Dana, yeah. I've really been trying to work on some lighting and some different things I have, um, and you'll see when I finally do my tour, it's getting there, but not quite yet. I have a lift thing that's the same counter that I used back here. We cut it and put a lift. So I pulled my light up on that because it was behind and it wasn't reaching far enough and that was bothering me. So we um, kind of moved it. So the lighting, I, I agree, is way better than what it was before. Yeah, short and sweet, you're right. All right, so we are on to the next card. And so this is a card, another one that I wanted to use up my DSP. And um, I love this DSP and I wanted to use this color. And so there's my little box again. Here's the package you're gonna get just like this. Now, 
you have to be very careful with this package because if you notice, you're gonna get these little white flowers right here. And I'm giving you nine of them. So two, four, six, eight, wait, two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11. You're gonna get 12. You're gonna get three large ones. So there's three large ones on here. And then there is um, three, six, nine small ones. And so you're gonna have enough. Now, if you don't stamp this right here, you're gonna have plenty. So it's up to you how you wanna do your stamping. So uh, the colors are Balmy Blue and Pear Pizzazz. All right, so we're gonna, I had a lot of this. Again, I had a, um, I did use a lot of peach paper. And I can't even remember if I had a peach class, but I think I did. And so let's take all of our little pieces. So you're going to have pearls. You're going to get eight pearls. And we're going to take all our little flowers and I'm going to move them right up here in the corner. All right, so everything is up here out of my way so I don't lose anything. Okay, so now we're gonna have, we have an inside here, so we're gonna be stamping on that. Let's put our bow over there. I, I did tie your bow for you guys, so you'll have that. If you guys need me to zoom in at all, let me know. Um, I know that when you're creating it, you'll have time to zoom in and all that good stuff, but. All right, so we're going to stamp our thank you, or thanks so much in balmy blue. I just love that this card was so soft and so nice. I just thought, you know what? I don't want to add black to it. So let me pull this in and you're going to stamp it to the right. Okay. So my head's going to probably be in the way. And okay. So I'm going to tell you right now, I put this on this little um, block and I don't like it because this strip is so little. Ooh, and I almost dropped this on my project. So I'm going to take this back off and I'm going to put it on a bigger block. Right here. I'm not so worried about side to side because this is long and I have enough space. I'm more worried about top to bottom. And I want to be able to see where my middle is. So hopefully my head's not in the way you guys. Sorry. I want to go to the edge. and stamp okay so now I can see my spacing on the top and on the bottom okay so make sure I like to go a little larger and I know they say make sure that your block is just barely bigger than your stamp but I don't like that I like to be able to see where I'm stamping especially with polymers so um, I appreciate that yes I would love a thumbs up and I have to say, if you are not subscribed, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe because I am close to 6,000 subscribers on my YouTube. So I'm pretty excited. That is um, just two years, a little less than two years. I'm trying to really grow my YouTube. So I appreciate it very much. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to subscribe. It All it does is remind you when I'm on. It gives you a notification. My videos will pop up for you when I'm on. Um, it's as easy as that. So you don't have to watch them if you're not available. You can turn off your notifications, not have that, but it'll still show up on your list. Okay, I want a little bit of blue starting on the right and going down here. If I have a little more over here, I don't mind because I'm going to be putting my bow there. So I'm good with that. Now what we're going to do is we are going to pull in, you guys know how much I love my, my little grid sheets here because we're going to do some stamping. So we're going to do the inside. Let's do that first. So this is what I did. I'm going to take Pear Pizzazz. And I always try to stamp off because I don't like my flowers or my image to just be floating there okay so make sure 
that you have your image kind of anchored somewhere. Even if it's off, it looks like there's a tree over here. So just kind of anchor it off and I'm going to go just like right about here because I do want my leaves on on here and I don't want them cut off on the bottom here. So pear pizzazz, simple as that. And we're going to set that aside and now let's bring back in our pear pizzazz and we're going to do the top. Now your top piece to me you're going to see that this is a little bent right here because I accidentally put my branches like this. Well, your tree isn't going upward, right? I mean, I guess it could be, but I like it downwards like it's just falling. It's a branch that's just kind of hanging down. So that's how I do my leaves. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I want flowers over here. So I'm going to stamp where I get two little flowers here and this right here is the end of that. Okay. So you're going to have a flower here and here. So what I'm going to do is ink this up. This is going to come in just about like right here. Okay. So just a little bit. And we're going to fix that, so don't worry about that. Now, and I could have gone up a little farther, but that's okay. I should have. And now we're going to bring this in, and we're going to just get it right up into the green leaves to make it look like it's part of that branch. Okay, and now again, right here. So it's all in how it goes. That's why I gave you so many flowers because you could have a lot more or a, hot, a, a lot less. So, oh, we'll still be here, Tashana. Hopefully you'll come back. All right, so we're gonna just set that aside. So we're done with this one. And so if you end up with more or less flowers, it is okay. And so what we're gonna do is now bring in our flowers with our balmy blue. Okay, now think about how your flowers go. They're going to be like this. So let's look right here. This flower is going to go here. That flower is going to go there. And then that flower is here. Okay, so if you can see. All right, and now I'm going to bring them down a little bit because I don't want the stems right in the middle of the flowers, but I definitely don't want them just floating there. So kind of turn your flowers and get them to where your flower is just attached to the, to the green, if that makes sense. So let's do our flowers. And I'm gonna start at the top because I have green up here with no flower, no leaves. So I'm gonna bring in my flowers and I'm just gonna put them just like that. Okay, so I'm adding some flowers up there to just kind of tie in that green. And now I'm gonna try not to get my head in the way, but you know, you know how that goes. So I'm gonna kind of arrange my flowers a little bit. And just kind of, and they don't have to be perfect, just kind of get an idea. Okay, so there's your flowers there. Okay, so they're attached. Okay, they're all kind of attached there. And now we're going to go to this one. And the same thing. Okay, so there's our flowers. Now we got to go back. Don't forget your inside. So bring back your inside. And same thing. Kind of eyeball it make sure you can adjust your flowers just a little bit by turning them just a little to make sure they each have um, you know that they're attached and then they're not just floating around out there all right okay so we're done with this 
I'm going to keep my ink pads over here because I think I go back and forth to several of them. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on the inside of our card. Uh, this stamp set is the Sweet as a Peach. Or sweet as a peach, so you see you have your, your leaves and your flowers here, and this is leaving, so don't forget to um, grab the dies. It's a beautiful set. I love it. I will not be getting rid of this set because I really like it a lot. And you can tell that you don't even use your peaches with this one, but the paper's gorgeous. Okay, so there's our inside for now. Let's do our outside. So we're going to add that and you can layer this up or whatever you want. I wanted to just kind of simplify just a little bit. Mainly I wanted to get rid of and use my DSP and show you guys how you can, you know, do something fairly simple and just get your DSP on there. So you can put your blue on top or you can put your blue underneath. I'm going to put it underneath because I want my flowers to show so I can add all my little white flowers look how pretty that paper is that's another problem is what side to use but i did use a lot of my peach and had a lot of this blue and white left so i wanted to do something to use a lot of that see now i can put this on here and go down as far as i want but i can leave the sides and everything pretty even at the top as I did at the bottom. So we want to do that. I did not wrap the ribbon around on this. I wanted the flowers to show. I didn't want to cover them up and I liked that longer sentiment. So we're going to do that. Make sure you align your papers up on the right and the left. Get those to align. And I did just go straight down with this. And I brought it all the way to the left. Now again here, depending on your flowers, you can move this up or down. I'm going to the very bottom of my white paper because I want that flower on there. I'm gonna align that up. These polka dots are super helpful to align your sentiment up and have it just so. All right, now our tricky part are these little tiny flowers. So I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to take my silicone mat and I'm just going to make sure that this is going, okay? And I'm just going to add a little bit. You don't need a lot. This is um, our Tombow multi-purpose glue, which I love but I like it for things like this and just the little bottle. And see, I can go all the way up to that corner right there. All right, and now I might take a pit tool I do not have right here. Where's my other one? Oh, here it is. I guess I'll use this. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my large ones and put them on the large flowers, which here's a large flower and there is a large flower. So I'm gonna put it on the large flower. Okay, and these are, I turned them a bit, so I've got the larger flower right there. It just depends on what, how you're gonna put them on. So let's put those on there. And you can, you know, put them in your hand and kind of play with them if you want, but being that I'm adding the little flowers on top, the little pearls, I don't, I didn't find it that, important so see how much easier it is to just add your glue on here and then you're going to get a little bit of glue that sticks out of the flowers and so that way it's going to be a lot easier to add your pearl oops this one's upside down they're nice and rounded so make sure you put them on the right way what i liked about these let me show you the dies is on these dies you get nine little ones and then three big ones so i ran these through on white paper all at the same time and you get all of your flowers 
that's what I did today. A lot of flowers. And then everything was done. All your labels are done. So these will probably go out Thursday. I got to package them all up now. Put your gifts in there and all that good stuff. Okay, so we're going to set that aside. Nope, we're not. Forgot it's inside. Okay, so now we're going to add our little bit on the inside. And you don't need that much. Okay, so we're going to go with one large one on the inside. On your larger flower. Okay. All right, so there's that. So that'll dry really quick. We're going to go ahead and we are not going to add anything on the inside because um, for time purposes, I would have normally done this, you know, before and separate and probably not inside. So I'm just going to lay my silicone mat on there because there is a little glue in there. We're not adding pearls in the middle because you don't want them to um, be all bumpy on the inside of your card. But out here, your pearls are, now see you have an extra flower. You can just put that aside. You don't need it. But your pearls are, are already have adhesive on them. And plus you're going to have a little bit of glue right there. So I'm just going to start putting my, I'm actually going to start at the top. That way I'm not putting my hand over the other ones. But look how pretty this is. You know, sometimes I forget about the pearls because all the other gems are so pretty. And, but this just had to have pearls. I almost put the silver metallic pearls on there because I thought that would be pretty too. But then I thought, mm, I got to put these on there. Got to have the white pearls. Okay, so remember, these are still wet. You don't want them to slide around too much. Okay, so you're going to have enough for the front of your page. If you do eight like this, I gave you eight pearls. Okay, so there you go. And now let's do our bow. And I like to use glue dots. Oh, Gloria. My dog is so funny. She'll he he walks out with dimensional uh, backings all over his nose. It's hilarious. Okay, I just want to angle my bow a little bit, kind of fluff it up. It's going to be in the mail and smooshed. And I'm just going to turn it just enough to where I can see the thanks. I want to see that. Just put that on there. And this should be pretty dry. And there you go. Cute little card can, you know, change up your, your leaves, however you want them facing up, facing down, whatever. But as long as they're going downwards and do you guys see what I just did? I put my leaves on upside down again. That's the second time I've, I've done that. Gosh, darn it. Well, I'm not going to take it off, but only you and I know. But see how the leaves, I mean, you can't really tell because at least they go down this way. Um, the last time, see, they should be cascading downward. And I guess you can't really tell, but I can tell because I know I started the stamp this way. <laughs> but, shh, don't tell anybody. That is what I'm talking about. This to me was cascading down. And this one doesn't look like it's cascading down to me. And I could take it off, but for time purposes, I will do that later. Don't tell anybody. Okay. <laughs> Not a mistake. Oh, I know. Okay. Well, anyway, so there's that. Don't tell anybody. Yeah, don't tell Marcy. Because she'll just be like, really, again? All right, so there is card number two. Yay! Oh, yay! See, there it is. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say I did that for Olivia because she's left-handed. 
All right, time for bingo. Is everybody ready for some bingo? They really are, Cheryl. The peach set is so pretty. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to be really honest. When you look at a stamp set, think about the leaves and the flowers. Look at all of these sentiments. I mean, forget the peaches. You've got the little tiny flowers, and that goes with the die. I believe it'll fit the die when you stamp that. But look at how pretty that font is. I love the little, um, you know, to a sweet friend, thank you so much, which this peaches would be perfect, but you could just do, you know, to a sweet friend and, and do just the flowers if you wanted. But so always look at a stamp set and think about that. Think about what else it has to offer. Um, like there's leaves in here that you could use that have nothing to do with the peaches. So just kind of, you know, take a look at that and see what you've got. And it'll give you a good idea of what, um, you know, what you could use it for, for something else. All right. Oh, my air finally kicked on. Yay. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Thanks, Sue. I think it looks fine, too. It could have been meant to be that it went both ways because you really can't tell unless you're the one stamping it. 23. Didn't we start off with that number last time? Number seven. Thank you for all the likes, everybody. I really appreciate it. Number two. I'm trying to get my YouTube channel up, so I appreciate all of the love and you guys watching. I really appreciate that very much. 17. I'm also working on my trip. I'm close, but not close enough for a graph yet, but it's coming. I will make it. I'm determined. We need a vacation, right? Five, so that's five numbers. I'm gonna wait just a bit. B I N Jane, look at you. Seal, you guys are just killing it. Lots of bees. All right, make sure you're on live chat still. Here we go. Twenty-five. 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 Ooh, I saw the Patrick Swayze special. I told you guys I had it. I was recording it. It was really good. I did not know that him and Jennifer Gray did not get along. Now I know. 15. A little bit, a tidbit about Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Gray. 26. Mainly because he was a perfectionist and she was more like, ah, we'll just dance, it'll be fine. And he was like, no, that's not how it goes. All right, lots of B's, B-I's, some B-I-N's. Good job, 22. <laughs> I promise they are, Tracy. I even double checked when I moved that they were all put in there. I actually moved it like this and I put it right in the spot where I couldn't find it and then I found it. All right, this one right here is for you. Four, number four. That was in it, huh? All right, B-I-N for Sue. No, not for Tracy. Okay, let's try again. This one, number nine. Number nine. Ooh, B-I-N-G for Eileen. All right, here we go. 24. 24. Remember that TV show? That was a good show. 
Don't fall asleep, Tracy. Jane with a B-I-N, 28. Oh, Tracy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Trina, B-I-N-G, the new people that have not been here before are killing it. Katie, B-I-N-G. Got a few. All right, I keep shaking them like it's going to matter. Let's pull one out. 19. 19. There's a lot of B-I-N-Gs. I'm going to wait just a bit. Olivia's got a B-I-N. Make sure everybody's on live chat. Can't stress that enough. Okay, so that wasn't a popular number. All right, here we go. 13. 13. B-I-N-G. B-I-N-G. Ooh, lots of B-I-N-Gs. All right. 11. 11. Doing the cha-cha stuff. Ooh, there's a lots of beings going on right now. A whole lot. Okay. Oh, Jane has a bingo. Jane, let's see. Jane, Jane. Let's see. Four. Seven. Eleven. Thirteen. 13 and 24. Good job, Jane. Woohoo! Yay! Anybody else have a bingo? Jane has a valid bingo. Trying to find my pen. Jane. Number two bingo. Great job. Congratulations. Okay, I'm just saying that two new bingo players have won so far. All right, Tracy. Katie says the next one's yours. All right, you guys. So the next project is a big project because I was going to make it one project but there was just no way so I had to break it into two projects you will get a PDF for project number four project number three is four note cards and they all have a lot of detail so let's just get busy and when I do pro when I do your timestamp this will all be on under project number three okay so let's get busy with card number one. And I don't mean to rush through. And congratulations, Jane, but I want to make sure that um, the East Coast people can get through and see your little card. So this is one of the cards. So cute. This is what I mean by the inside of your project when you do this die right here which I think are right here these are new dies and that's this one right here so you're gonna get this in your your kit and then you're going to computer yes Dana they are set for long video all that's turned off I'm not shutting this down this time plus I'm going back and forth between so I think we're good this time Fingers crossed. Um, my new computer will be here tomorrow because this one's having weird issues too, but it seems to be doing fine last few days. So that's where these came from. Okay, and then I just cut the white. So I did not re um, die cut, you know, more of these. I just cut the insides of the white. So here we go. Here's your pieces. You're going to have a lot of little pieces. So here's your note card. 
and here is this here. We'll set that aside with your little bow, and you have, um, okay, so I have to tell you, this is stamping up glitter paper, but there's also glimmer paper. So some might get glitter, some might get glimmer. This is retiring the glitter, the glimmer paper, and I had somebody help me cut paper, and what we didn't realize until I was putting the kits together is some of it's glitter, some of it's glimmer. But use what you have if you're recreating it. But um, we wanted to use the black. And so that is what we did. The other thing now, we're moving to the Hello Ladybug. So again, we have three flowers, but they're different flowers than before. So we're going to be using this stamp, this little guy here, and that's his little shell color. And then we're going to be using these little black polka dots right here. And then our new stamp set called Limited Edition. Take a look at this. This was the one I got free from Stamping Up for doing an event recently. But this is for, for demonstrators where it says Stamping Up on here. You know, if you're selling your stamps, that's one of the things that they recommend that we put on there is the at stampingup.com. I mean, uh, copyright. So, but you could take that off too and use it as a sentiment. So think about that, you know, just really cute, you know, just for you, you could just use that part if you wanted, um, made with love. I mean, there's all kinds of things you could do with this, but I love a paper hug from me. So that's where I got this from. So we are going to um, take these colors out. I'm using Poppy Parade was the color that I chose to do all the ladybugs and everything in. So let's start with our Poppy Parade color base here. And we're going to make sure those are on here. They are the bestest. Okay, so when you're doing this, if you start at the top, that's fine. If you start in the middle, that's fine. But if you start in the middle, you want to go like this, okay? You don't want to start here, then go up here, and then you're going to have a weird space. So let me show you. If you want, so let's take a look at this one and know that we're going to see this right here. So we're going to go just like that and stamp, okay? And now we're going to stamp over here, and we're going to stamp here. So now you have to start by going in, you know, like make your way out of however you want to do it, but you've got to do it going from one way. Because if we come up here, there's not going to be enough space right here. So I want to go in the middle there, and I want to go off the edges because, of course, that's where we're going to see it. Okay, and then I'm going to go up here, and now there is a space there. And I could just do that little flower right there. Okay, so did you see how I did that? Kind of either start from the middle and work your way out or start from the top and work your way down. Don't just go, oh, I want one here on the edge and here on the edge because then you're going to get crowded in the middle um, and, or you're not going to have enough space. So make sure you do that. On the note cards, I did leave them blank on the inside. If you choose to do something, but on note cards, I like to have the space to write because there's not a lot. So it just depends on, you know, it's up to you. And since this is a note card kit, I thought it was a nice, if you're going to put them all in the kit together, people can use them however they like. <clears throat> all right, so let's put this on. I like to make sure I get the tips of your triangle because that could just come up on that end. All right. I like to have my, okay, so I can tell when I folded these, I just folded them lightly. And so you might need to adjust because you know how sometimes your note cards come out of the package and they're a little, they're a little, not exactly straight. So make sure that you straighten them up and get your note card just how you want it. And now we're going to put this on the corner 
to corner to corner just like that okay and now we're going to take this piece and do the same thing this is from your the polka dots from the pattern party again using your dsp so if you sell your cars like at craft fair you have to give um gloria yeah i i've always put um if you look at my stamp let me see if i can find it here's my larger one but if you oh that one's that one doesn't have it which is why i did this one you can hardly see it but it has my marcy Bessaker designs and then it says my website and then it says images copyright stamping up it's really hard to see but um i'll stamp it when i get to black ink and show you oh good nancy lee yeah it's a great set all right, so again, make sure you get your corners of your triangle. Remember, DSP is a little thinner. You want to be a little more careful with being rough with your adhesive and everything. And remember, if this overlaps or isn't perfect, you're going to put that black strip, that accent strip, right down the, the center. So... Okay, so that goes all the way to the corner. All the way down all right now you're going to take your black piece and we're going to put adhesive and you want to go corner to corner okay and then you're going to trim off that little piece and this one for some reason this one seems short for some reason so I'm going to tell you what to do if it's short and I had some help, so unfortunately this is a tiny bit short, but we're covering up the center, right? So let's just do this. We're going to add our adhesive. We're going to cut it straight down the middle. I, I like to do this on the edges to make sure your adhesive is, because this adhesive, this strip is a little shorter. I'm going to go past the corner and go right along that right there. And we're going to trim the edges, so don't worry about that. We're going to make it a point. Um, this is our point right here. All right, so just... Sure your adhesive is on the back side you don't need it on the front okay now take this piece and you're going to go right up to the edge there and go right down and does it really matter i mean you could even go all the way up if you wanted if you wanted to save your paper because your um oh i'm going to do it from the side okay so we can go corner and corner so see it's just pointed up there and then we're going to do this side but you're going to have to close it and now I can see all my stuff all over my car here I set it right on the adhesive there we go okay so there you go and now you have two pieces of white and they're the same size so take your piece and make sure that it goes right inside okay which is fine and then your other piece we're going to stamp okay so we're going to stamp this one with our ladybug I'm gonna move that out of the way So the first one is you're going to stamp it like this. And just stamp it. Now, if you feel more comfortable doing it with your Stamparatus, by all means do that. Okay, so there's my 
my black part of my bug. And now you're going to take your the color. Oh, I'm like, where's my lid? You're going to take your color, and again, we're going to pull out the poppy, which I was hiding. I'm going to move this because I don't want to get anything on it. Now, this, there's little tiny circles in the middle of the circles. So on this side, it's got the big circle, but the circles kind of go down, and then there's a little circle on the inside. See if you can see that. See how this circles, and then there's the little circle? Make sure those little circles are right in the middle of your circles. So like of these black dots right here. So let's see if I can do it. Now I know my head's going to get in the way, but let's see. So you're going to go... Put, go straight over you're going to see everything align and you're going to look at those dots and you're going to go straight down as long as your dots are in the middle of those black dots that you already have stamped okay now look okay so you make sure now there's a tiny white spot right there and that is where i take my marker and I just go right around, just feather it lightly, and it'll color that in, and you don't even see the white anymore. Okay, so um, it took me a while. I didn't realize that. Once I had it like this, I was like, what are those little dots for in the middle? And then I realized it's, that's where you want to aim when you stamp your little guy. And then, ta-da, he's cut out. All right, so here's our little bug. Now we're gonna take our white here that we have that's gonna go on the inside of our frame and we're gonna take our flowers and I used Bumblebee. Um, again, a beautiful color that's retiring, but if you have um, a yellow that you would prefer, you could use um, Crushed Curry, Daffodil Delight, so Saffron, whatever you want to use for your flowers. And so I just inked them up. Again, this is the color that I wanted to use because it's going away. Okay, so give it a nice image. It doesn't have to be on all the way. Okay, so just kind of Give it a good image of your flower. Your little bug's going to be on the bottom right side. And so I went this way and put the bigger flowers on. So it doesn't really matter. Just kind of, you know, add them on there. I'm loading up my uh, pile over here. All right, now we're gonna go back to black and remember those little tiny polka dots and our sentiment. So I'm going to, this has adhesive on here. Here's our little dots. So I have them in my little thing here. Um, your dots, okay, so your kits are gonna come in one bag, but they're all folded. So all your pieces will be inside and you're gonna have all of your little black dots that are gonna go and your little matte dots that are going to go to your um, all of your four of your cards. So now we're going to bring our black back in. So see, that's my stamp. Oops, that's kind of bad lighting right there, but that's my stamp. So it says images, copyright, stamping up. So that way when I put this on the back of my cards, it's on every card. Okay, so now, now you're just gonna randomly, and make sure you take time with each stamp because if you do it quickly, one of your little polka dots isn't gonna get stamped right and you're gonna see it and it's gonna show up looking kind of weird. So just kind of make sure that you give it a good stamp, okay? 
and stamping a little off, a little on. I'm going to do one right up here, even though I know the bow is going to go up there. So I like the look of that. Oh, you're welcome, Gloria. It really helps when you notice those little dots there. All right, now we're going to do our sentiment. We're going to hope that without our Stamparatus, because not everybody has one, so I want to do this. Let's pretend the little bug guy is here and he's on the paper because you want him to, to have, you know, be on, if you don't want him up here, you want him like walking here. So we're going to put him right about there. So I want this stamp pretty close under here. So we're going to move that. I'm going to stamp it once to make sure I get a good, I think I need to re-ink my, my black, but. All right, so my head's gonna probably be in the way again. Here we go. I want it straight. All right, so I'm pushing down. I'm not rocking it or anything because I want it to just get a nice, a nice dark image. So I like to just set it there for a minute just so it gets a good inking. And to me, I just think the paper absorbs the ink a little bit better. All right, so there we go, there's that. So let's bring this in and our card. We are going to add our dimensionals. I'm gonna add mini dimensionals. And I like to do that with my pokey tool. So we're just gonna add three across the top. I don't think there's need for any on the side. You're gonna do your white on the side. So let's just get our frame done. All right, so on the larger one, on this, I'm gonna use the larger dimensionals. So let's turn this over. I don't need to hear anything yet until I place it and I, I want to put one in the middle just so it doesn't kind of bow down especially when you got a frame around it you want it to be popped up and even with the frame okay so now I'm going to lay my frame down right about there and I'm gonna lay this in here I just like to get a good look and I know they both don't move at the same time, but just kind of get an idea of where I want to put them down at. And you could put them together. So let me show you how, how that works. Okay. So lay this down like this. Put this inside. And you want to make sure, you know what? Get a piece of dark paper and let me show you. This is the easiest way to do it. I'm just going to grab a piece of dark paper, put it underneath so that you can not see the paper underneath it. And it's kind of hard between light and dark because you've got dark outside, light inside. But right there, just kind of fold it right up to that spot and you're going to want to put a dimensional on it. These things, these I'm remembering now, these little secrets. Okay, so make sure you're right up into that and put a dimensional right up on it. So I'm putting the dimensional flat so you can go really close to the edge. I'm do another one. Right up close to the edge. So now you can tell that your piece is gonna stay together. And so we're going to bring our card back in. I need to, I need to lift this one up because I can see a little space. But you got to be careful because you don't want your side to, to rip. Okay, so now we're ready. Flip. 
So once you get all your pieces on, add those two side pieces on. Make sure you have it exactly where you want it. And then lightly lay it down. Like I think this needs to go to the left just a tad. Okay. And now you're going to do your dimensional for your, your bow. All right, where are they? I like to do two. I don't know why. I say that every time because I really don't know why. I just feel like it's better secure and I do it right along the paper and the frame because I think the frame is so pretty I don't want to cover it all up and so I just and I actually also cut this even shorter at an angle because I really want to just see all of that and I want it to not be the main focus there and now we're going to pop up our little guy our little bug I do one large one for his body and one for his head. And because he has all these cute little polka dots on here, I didn't even feel the need to add anything else to it. Um, the thing to remember though is I take my marker and I, where you trim him out and cut him out, I take my, um, my pen and put him on a piece of paper and color around you know his feet and stuff and so you don't have any white edges and he looks nice and and dark on there and you could add wink Estelle or whatever but anyway so there is a card number one for your for your box so we'll put those in here and we'll move on to the second card I know you're getting four for the price of one. It's really not that hard, Diane. Just when you get to him, just kind of go around and it doesn't have to be super, super close, but just kind of go. And if you leave a little bit of white, it's okay. And then what I do is I just kind of cut them. I do that part last um, and then just kind of come in and you know, it doesn't have to be perfect because then you can turn around with your marker. Okay, so let's just say that, you know, there's two feet. And then you're going to come in with your scratch pad here. And then you're going to have your marker and you can just color his feet in like this. Now, if I was coloring the rest of him from the back, I would do this. And I would go right around the edge to cover up that white um, around his edge. But for his little feet and his antennas, I would just color them all in after you cut them, of course. I would co cover them all like that and get them all nice and black while they're cut already. And then you can tell on that front little foot there's no white. And so you can't even tell that you know, it was difficult to fussy cut him. So, but cut, cut him out first and then color him. And then that'll, it'll, it'll save a lot of time. Okay, so for our second card, look how cute this is. We're gonna do our little layer for our little hello card. So here's our, our pieces. And let's take all that out. Again, we still have our black dots there because we will start using them on this card. All right, let me move my inks out of the way here. Okay, so we have our bow. The first thing I always start to just start from the bottom. And so we're going to have our black card base that goes right on top of our card. And then we're gonna have our green. So what we're gonna do is uh, shaded spruce is the color I used. And looking for my leaf, here it is. Okay, now I can tell you right now I have a little divot thing on my leaf, but I'm not worried about it because we're going to cover it up a lot. But just so you know, 
Um, mine just has a weird, I think I had it leaning against something and it kind of dented it, but it still works just fine. So again, same as before, except we're just doing the outside, so you don't even have to do the inside, right? So I'm just going to, oh, see, I should have used my, where'd my mat go? I knew it as soon as I put my thing down that I didn't have my mat. So here we go. All right. So make sure you have your mat underneath and make sure you push really well. Okay. That's the little thing I was talking about there. And now I'm going to go, because it doesn't have to be completely perfect around the outside or inside or whatever. You just want to add your green. And so I'm just going to add a little right there. Okay, so we're just kind of adding just to add some color, right? And I'm going to add this right here. And that. Okay, so there is your image. And then one green leaf, which to try and save a little bit of time, I did my leaf right here. Okay, and again, fussy cutting this. And this is kind of where I was talking about your card um, on what to cut, what not to cut to send to you guys. So you're gonna notice I did the black and I did the green. And then I have the black and the polka dot. And again, this comes from the same paper. It is the pattern party, pattern party or pattern play um, paper. And then I gave you this to do your leaf because I can't stamp it for you and there's no dye. And so, um, you know, just, just go around and cut it. And again, I've always told you, use your little images. If it goes like this, try and cut like that. It just adds that little bit more character. So there's that. We're going to take our hello. And we are going to take our mat and bring that back in. Boy, this is getting messy. All right. And now let's do our hello. So we have this little tiny hello stamp. And we're going to do that in black. And just try to do it as straight as you can. And I started on the end. Hello. Hello. And I'm going to do one more just because I don't know where everything's going to land. So just in case, if it covers it up, that's fine because that's probably what's going to happen. But just in case we're short a little bit, then we know that we have that extra little space. All right, now we're going to adhere that. To the black strip. And I did it all the way to the edge on the right side. All right, there's a hair on there. Don't want that. So go all the way to the right or whatever you want, but this is how I did it. Okay, it's all the way to the right on the edge and then just kind of go down. Okay. And now let's adhere these two together. Hope you guys are still awake. <laughs> We're just on card two of the four of project three. I know it's a lot, but I thought it was so cute. And then project four will tie it all together. All right, so there's that piece and let's 
put these two together. Now you could punch out things here, you know, if you're looking for something, but I didn't want to punch, you know, cut that out because it leaves it. But there's certain things that it would totally make sense to punch out, like maybe your lady, you know, your ladybug bodies or something like that. But um, we're going to do this one. was ready. I knew that would happen. All right, we want this on the black. Okay, there's that one. Now this is going to go right on top of your card base. So we can go ahead and add that. We're not tying ribbons or bows around any of that stuff. So we can go ahead and start assembling. Okay, so there's that. And now I did put dimensionals on the top layer part here. Oh, good, Diane. I'm glad. I'm excited about next month because it's going to be all new product. Woo -hoo. All right, so we're going to put this on. And if you watch me and follow me, you know that I don't like to start layering things up until I um, am done with the layers, but we're not tying anything around or anything, and it's kind of, this is going to be a little easier to to do that. Okay, now we're going to put this on. So we're going to go down and I'm going to cut that off a tiny bit. That is shaded spruce, Kathy. Just a tiny, tiny bit. So I like to look on the reverse side, on the other side, just to make sure. And this is also glued straight, so we'll just go straight onto this. Alright, now I'm going to put this on my lined paper just to kind of figure out. I'm just going to look at this line right here and go over to that line over here, which is down a little ways. Oh, that's not, that is not straight. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> okay, so let's do it at the bottom. There we go. Much better. All right, now I went ahead, because these are going to be in a card um, package, in a box, we want to put them in... Um, I don't want to layer too much stuff up, so we are definitely going to glue um, this part down straight. No dimensionals. I'm going to put a bit on there just so it stays. And we're going to put it right about like this. Okay. And now, this is going to be, this is, a, an, again, another weird spot. I did send you the wings, but they are not colored. They're just punched out. So this is where I'm thinking, okay, it's kind of weird to send them to you. But if you have a stamp set, obviously you're probably going to stamp it, then punch it. But if you don't, um, you can, you know, use a pattern, use this as a pattern, use pattern paper, maybe polka dot paper, or um, I highly recommend this set. It's absolutely, absolutely, absolutely adorable. Um, it's adorable. So... Um, again, you're going to go over. Now, this is going to be the hard part. Now, you could take this and lay it on there, but I don't want to get my hands all inky. I still have a lot to do. So let's just try doing it this way and see what we come up with. But this is kind of where I'm like, should I cut these out and send them to you? Because it's kind of weird. But um, we're going to just go for it and hope that it works out. 
Okay, so. All right, so there are the wings. They're off. You can tell they're off a little bit, but it's all right. And now you want the black dots. And worst case scenario, you could always trim this so that it looks good because they're wings. You, you, I mean, you can't really tell, so it's not that big of a deal if they're a little skinnier than what they should be. I wouldn't worry about it. But if you have the set, obviously stamp first and then and then punch it out. Okay, so these don't have the little circles on them. So I'm going to put my trusty little contact lenses to work and hope that this works. Ta -da! There's a little bit off right there. And again, that's where I would take my marker and fix it. So it's totally up to you. But again, when you do that, do a light little feather touch up right there. So take it like this, take your skinny part. There's two little pieces over here and just lightly dab or lightly just brush and that's fine. Now you could cut those down. I'm not too worried about them. They're close enough. So I like to just kind of, oh, excuse me. Do this, get your little bug. Bring this in. We are going to glue that. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna put our dimensionals on our little guy here. And you really don't need that many. He sticks very well. All right, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do this first because of the video. I'm just gonna put him kind of up here like he's kind of crawling off the leaf. And then I'm gonna take my bow and fix the bow. Fluff it up how I want it. So when you guys get your bow, just kind of fluff them up a little bit. And I do too. And then we're just gonna put that on the leaf right there. I'm gonna cut those. This is my ribbon scissors, that's why they cut so nicely. And now I'm gonna take, well, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do dimensionals because of the video purposes. I would do glue and I would do it just along the top side of the leaves, but I think these are fine. And then you're gonna put it right under the head right there. I like to not make nail marks, so I take something that has a dull and just kind of put them on there like that. So see how the leaves are a little off, but that's okay. It is fine. Is that black glimmer or glitter paper? This, oh, um, glimmer, oh, no, it is not. Uh, they did, uh, Diane, they did have the glimmer paper on the, on the clearance rack, but I don't think there was any left when I checked. Um, I was gonna double check again, but I think it's gone. Um, but don't quote me on that. I and mean, if somebody else may know, I was gonna double check that again and I didn't. Um, okay, so I'm going to take a large one, but it comes back. I have to tell you, um, the wings, yes, not the leaves. Thank you. Um, the glimmer paper tends to kind of come and go. Um, so if it's here now, it, you know, it might be coming back, especially solid colors. They tend to do that. So I always try to hold on to my, my glimmer paper, but I just had to do these with that now this these are both glitter paper you can tell because it's got a silver kind of look to it um and i didn't like i said i didn't even realize it until i started packaging them because i had somebody help me and i said oh yeah there's more paper over there and i thought it was glimmer but it was glitter it's still the it looks great it gives it the look i was wanting so um there you go so there is card number two I'm gonna throw that in the same bucket. 
and move this bucket over here. All right, card number three. How are you guys holding up? Thank you for tying the bows. Oh, you're welcome. I'm trying to not miss any comments. Okay, this one I think is one of my favorites. I thought this one was so cute. Um, it has a little bit of all the colors in it. I'm going to show you a technique that we're going to use on here. And um, we are going to use some glimmer. And so let's set that aside. There's our card. And here's our pieces again. We have our little our dots right there. Okay, now you say that, and I'm not tying this bow, so I'll show you in just a second why. All right, so here's our card base. We have our red and our black. So let's go ahead and adhere those together. All right. And I'm just going to center that. All right, and then again on the back side. Thanks, Bonnie. Oh, Dana, what are we eating? All right, we're gonna put this on the whole front base, so make sure you get it all covered. All right, so there's that. This one we are gonna tie around. So let's set this aside. The other thing we're gonna do is we are going to wink a Stella our wings. So let's do that now so they can dry. So I'm gonna curve my wings. Remember, do it lightly. You're not even tugging on this. You're just curving like this, okay? And then they'll flatten out by the time you add your wink a Stella. So take your wink a Stella. And I'm just going to do it in my hands because I'm going to need this paper, I'm sure. And let's just add Wink of Stella on. And you can get them on all of the wing. And go to this side. And you can lay them down if you want. I'm just going to use this. I'll do this on the corner. And then just add your Wink of Stella. It's easier if it's laying down. I, I agree. Okay, and now we're just going to set those aside. So I'm going to move those right there. All right, so now those are drying. Now we're going to have this. This one is from the um, this one is from the scalloped contour, the little sentiment on the middle, I believe. Let me look. It could be the ornate. So I'm going to double check real quick. Except I think they're in a pile. So I'm going to say yes, The it's the, I think it's the scalloped. But it's listed on the supplies. All right. Good night, Bonnie. I know it's late for you. Have a wonderful night. Uh, the black paper, again, is from the, um, the uh, pattern party that's the host set it's got so much great paper in it okay so now we're going to take this and i'm going to put you can bug me anytime i think that's just a cute little note card that you know you could do like a little thank you or um, ooh, barbecue chicken with sweet potatoes yay my favorite so i think that's really cute you can bug me anytime a cute little card that just says hey thinking of you, if the, you know, whatever's up, you can call me anytime. So you can bug me anytime. So that just goes pretty much side to side on this. It's really close. Again, this is probably not the block I would normally like because I want to make sure it's straight, but I put it on that one. I don't know why. And now we will adhere that.
Make sure I get it on this edge over here. There we go. Thank you, Yvette. Scallop Contours. Yes. I love that set. You guys know I love Stitch So Sweetly and it's going away. But there are so many that are coming that I think you'll be thrilled with. I'm looking for the lid to this and I'm like, okay, where is it? Okay, so I did do another leaf, but yes, I gave you guys paper um, to create another leaf. So you will have paper to do that, but I created one to help us along. We're going to adhere again your pattern play paper to our poppy parade my son and um, his in-laws are there and they are swimming and he sent me a picture and i'm like what are you doing it's freezing but they have a spa that heats up um that's attached to their pool and so they heated it up so that the pool is heated up i don't want to look at their pg e bill but or their electric bill but they heated it up so they can all go swimming and i'm like Phew, too cold for me all right, so now here is, um, this is Glimmer paper. Glimmer has the white on the back, the glitter has the black, so you might get mixed and matched. Now, how I did the bumblebee is on this one in particular, I used the bumblebee body color, okay? So what I did is I just took a pair of scissors and I just cut off like the little tush amount just do it as a circle okay and then go back up you don't want this piece so get rid of that piece and then go back up and do it as a circle and so you want this piece okay and now you don't want this one but you do want the head part Okay, not the head, but the neck part, like right underneath it. So see how we're doing it? Cut away the, the, these pieces. You don't want those pieces. But I also, I want the antennas. So we're going to cut that antenna off. And we're going to cut this antenna off. Okay, and you're going to cut it right along the lines. Okay, so now we're going to get rid of those. And now we're going to glue these. So take your glue. And now, and you don't need, oh, jeez. You don't need that much. Put it on here. Pick up your little bumblebee. Because remember, it's the same exact die cut. So you want to kind of make sure his little piece just goes right along where it should go. Okay, so there's his first little piece. And now let's take this piece. I would put that black ladybug on sticker paper. Yeah, you could do that too, for sure. Joanne, if you're watching, you're way behind. Make sure you're on live chat and bring the bar across the bottom all the way over when you get to this point so that you're caught up. All right, so now you're just gonna kind of go up and put it right about where it looks like it would go. It doesn't have to be exactly, but you can see the sides, you know, right about what looks right. And then this part's gonna go right underneath his neck. So right under the head part. So isn't that cute? Oh, thank you, Joanne. It's funny, even when I used to work, I used to think there's gotta be, uh, gotta be a better way. 
<laughs> I'm always like, there's got to be a better way to do this. And so I did a lot of computer work. And that was kind of one of my things. I worked for a law firm and I was like, what is the end result? What do you want the end to be? That's where I need to know. Because whatever the end result's going to be is going to be the easiest way. Because what normally would happen is they would say, oh, I just want this or this. But they don't tell me what the end result is. And then when they tell me, I'm like, well, but I wish I would have known that at the beginning. Because then you know what you're wanting to do. Okay, so remember to put your antennas on the right one because they're going to go out to the left and go out to the right. So use your little tool to pick them up and... Okay. Put your little antenna on there. I kind of wish we had a cute little face, but then he'd be laying on his back and we couldn't put his wings on, right? All right, so now I'm gonna pick him up and just adjust his little antenna because I don't want to see the yellow behind it. Okay, so there we go. So there's our little bee, and now we can bring in our wings. And what I did is I put glue. I just did glue straight across. It will dry and you won't see it straight across the glitter put your wings right up underneath the neck you're going to see it right now but you won't see it bring in a block lay it down okay so let's just lay that down for now we're going to move this little guy out of the way let him dry for a minute with his block on there so it'll hold his wings down now we're going to bring in our piece back And we're going to bring in our black thread. I'm going to wipe my hands. I feel like I've got ink and adhesive and everything else. Yay, Gloria! This set is so cute, you guys, and it's staying. So I hope you'll get it. Oh, big news if you haven't heard, especially for my customers, while I'm taking in a little break here and taking a drink. Uh, free shipping on the 21st. So don't forget, the free shipping is a huge deal. I mean, you think about it, and it's a, it's a great deal. Um, but also, because so many people are like, oh, but I have to pay the shipping. And then when shipping day comes, people forget, or they don't buy stuff, and then all of a sudden they're like, don't you guys ever have a special like free shipping? And I'm like, we just did. <laughs> So don't miss out, even if you're buying your adhesive, your white paper, you know, whatever you need, think about that. Um, it's totally worth it to, to do that and get your product. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is, this isn't a fancy bow. We're gonna just put our thread right about here and we're just gonna go around two times and now we're gonna tie a bow. So you could do a bow ahead of time like I've showed you before um, you could do a bow and if you want to I'll do one so I can show you because I think you have plenty of, of thread you're gonna hold your bow down here so like I do my bows and I do have a bow video so if you need that search it um, and do a bow so I'm gonna do a two bow and I'm gonna go around well first of all I'm gonna hold it right here kind of like I tied it I want to make sure I have enough I'm gonna hold my fingers here and I'm gonna go around twice and it's and it's long enough so just make sure your bow is smaller okay and so I will do it like this just so I can show you but you could just tie a knot that's what I did here I just tied a I tied a little bow there so it's not a big deal you can do whatever you want um, and so bring it around and then tie yourself a bow and then get a glue dot So it's however, whatever you want. Um, I'm going to measure right about here. I'm going a little bit. Right about there. Okay, now you're going to go around twice and you come up across the top, up across the top, and now you're going to come 
underneath everything. So what's going to happen is this string is going to, you're going to tug it and it's going to go secure right against that other little glue dot you have there. And this does not have to be a pretty bow. It's just a little black threaded knot. That's why I just did a regular bow to begin with. I like to put a little glue dot under there just to kind of secure it. Okay, so there you have your 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 little knot, your bow. Okay, and you can we'll cut those later. I cut them at the end so I can kind of figure out what I want. We're gonna take this and just put it straight right across here. So let's take that off. But first we've got to put our our leaf. So just kind of tuck your leaf in your boat, your your sentiment's gonna go right over it. So this is not, um, no dimensions again, because we're gonna dimension the B and this is gonna go inside your little box. So you wanna make sure that you have all of your, your stuff can fit in. You wanna make sure your sentiment's upright. See? Okay, I'm just gonna put that straight. So the ribbon goes right in the middle of the two sides there all right so there's that let's go ahead and add our large pieces while our bee is still drying a little bit we're going to add that there and a little one up here and a little one over there all right why do i feel like that's crooked Now, this is on dimension and it's pretty much on the string. So you could put dimensionals like this so that it's adhering to the card. Um, so you don't have to deal with this. I'm gonna cut these down a little bit. All right, and now let's bring our little B in. And this will continue drying and you're not gonna see that. So don't worry about that. You could do glue dots if you wanted, whatever whatever works for you. I'm going to put one on the head and one on the body. Looks like I will be die cutting a bow. <laughs> Look at my video, Nancy Lee. You'll be surprised. Just keep trying it. You'll figure it out. That's so much easier. All right. And then we're just going to put our little bee right here like he's just flying flying by and now we're going to add our dimensionals on the back what shows are you guys watching are you binge watching anything right now i'm watching a show but i'm going to want another one soon my daughter says she's just hysterically laughing at the new girl. And I did start watching that some time ago. I guess I need to go back to it. She said, oh my gosh, mom, I'm so embarrassed. I'm just sitting here cracking up. And my, her husband's like, what is so funny? But she said, it's so funny. And I can always use a funny show, right? All right, so that is card number three. Look how cute and simple that was. I like it because it's got a lot of the different colors in it and it kind of all goes together. The in bloom dyes have a cute bow. Yes. All the <laughs> Nancy Lee. It took for sure. All right. On to the fourth card and then we have a bingo. Yay. Okay, fourth card. And you will get all your envelopes to go with these also. Here's, oh, here's the envelopes. I put them in the last, my last bucket, but you will get all the envelopes. So this one I thought was really cute too. Again, same paper. You can tell I had a lot of that paper. And so you can tell on this one just slightly that you can see the glue, just a tiny bit. But um, you really can't unless you're really staring at it. All right, so here is your card. 
Tent, a tent, like they're open a little right there, so I put that in the front so you can just easily, or you can adjust it and close it a little bit better if that helps you. We're gonna move everything aside. Let's go ahead and add our adhesive. Get that all down. No, next month, Terry is going to be um, new product. So I don't have everything yet, and I'm going to use some that I have and some that I don't. So um, it, all I can tell you is it's going to be a new product, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so here's our sentiment. Oh, I don't think I pulled that sentiment out yet. Um, let's see. Where did I get that sentiment? May your greatest wish come true, my friend. Here it is. May your greatest wish come true, my friend. I forgot to pull this one out. So here it is. All right, so I like to put my blocks this way, my, my um, instead of long way. My hands aren't huge, so holding it like that, I'd rather hold it, you know, smaller. So that's how I like to do it, but I got to put it on somewhat straight. All right, there's the first one. And then my friend. Is it breaking up, darling? I hope. Is everybody else okay? Sounds going on and off. Uh-oh. And now it's okay, Gloria. Okay, good. So people are going back out and back in, and the sound is better. I hope it's okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment. Everybody else is okay. Okay, good. All right, we're going to do a um, memento. Like I'm beeping. Uh-oh. All right, if you guys can go back out and back in, hopefully it's okay. It's okay for a lot of people, so hopefully. All right, so you're my greatest wish come true, my friend. And put the my friend closer to the bottom because you're going to put the bow in the middle all right so we'll set that okay good i'm glad it's okay for a lot of people the other people refresh or maybe back out but make sure when you come back in you go to live chat so it can be up to date okay so now we're doing the same thing with our ladybug but we're just, our, our, our B, but we're just doing two stripes. Because there's so much bumblebee on here, I decided to keep more black. Oh, okay, good. Still breaking up, huh? Um, okay, so we're gonna curve the bottom off, go to the next one. And then I'm going to go to this one. And then I'm going to go to this one. And it's all in just kind of however you cut it. It's not a big deal. Okay. So we're going to go to this one and put it on. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys, the sound's working. Oof, computer stuff makes me nervous. Like I said, I have my new computer coming because although now this one hasn't had any issues for a few days, but I don't want to chance it. YouTube is finicky. Anything with, oh, anything with um, electronics or any kind of stuff like this is, could just be a nightmare. All right, so... 
add your spots. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to be putting your wings on. I think I wiped my glue off right there. Let me see. Let's get that out of our project, right? Okay, so when I dropped it, I think I dropped my adhesive a little bit right here. All right, so we're just going to put that down. Okay, we'll just put those aside and move our little bee. Let him dry off. But you can do it, you know, take your time, do it how you want it. This one we're going to add glue because we're putting it on top of an embossed piece where where did I oh I got them on Amazon you get like 10 bottles um, they're really cheap I've not had any problems I have heard people have problems with it um, they said that the nozzle gets rusty I've never had that problem but the only thing I put in mine is the Tombow multi glue from Stampin' Up it's the only one I put in there all right so we're gonna put that on there so I don't know if other people have used other things or not. I don't know. Um, so they, you know, that might be an issue if they used other product. I don't know, but I've never had a problem. All right, so we're going to take a glue dot. It's thread. I don't need two glue dots, so we're just going to take this one. And we're going to put it right in the middle right here right there all right we're going to go ahead and adhere this to our card base oh somebody was asking me um, what lotion I use before I craft and this is the one that I oh that I use the naked bee excuse me it's moisturizing hand and body lotion this one is orange blossom and honey and um, normally I don't do floral, but um, I have no problem with this one. I got it at in Texas. Well, this one I got on Amazon, but I originally got it when I was in Texas at a retreat. And I got some and I just really liked it a lot. So that's what I use. And I don't have any problems with it getting on my cards or anything. But of course, I put it on a little bit before I start. Um, and I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, you do, Agoria, you get like a certain amount of them. Yeah, Kathy, I'm kind of thinking mine were stainless steel, but I don't know. I just got whatever was available, and I think I just happened to get that. All right, we're going to put in um, dimensionals on here. I'm going to put five just because it's an embossed piece I'm going to make sure it's going to stick well I'm going to put it right in the middle okay that's where I want it and now I'm going to take my green leaf and I'm going to just add some little bit here you don't need a whole lot but I'm just going to add it you can stick that back there and then just kind of lay it there all right now I'm going to go to my flower so you have two daisies right here and so I'm going to curl them up just a little bit yeah Kathy my hands get super dry and I really like it um, there is another scent I haven't tried it like I said normally I don't like floral but this one's like a honey um, orange whatever it is and I, I like it my husband not so much every time I'm in the car and I put some on he's like oh gosh 
Oops. All right, so then I'm just going to offset the flower. Okay. And then I'm going to put another dimensional. Remember, it's DSP, so you want to be careful. So I like to just take my pokey tool and slide it off to make sure you're going to get it. We're going to put that right there, but I'm going to kind of turn it. I want to make sure you can see the words. Okay, and then your flower, your bow can, you know, intertwine with your flower. That's fine. Then we're going to take this little guy and... I don't even have to have the stem on here and I think what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of glue right here and a little bit. Now see how it kind of gets sticky? Just take it like a baby wipe and just wipe it off like that and it's fine. Okay, I'm going to take that off and I'm just going to lift up these flowers and just kind of lay it in here but I want it out of the way of the words and so this little one can pop up All right now you have your last three Ooh, you know what I'm thinking is I need to add some more dots to your packages I'm realizing good thing I didn't seal them up all right so there are your three for your center All right, and now we have our bee, so we're going to take our bee, and we have our wings, and you can put Winkastella on them if you want, but I did not on this time, but I did take your embossing folder. Yeah, it does smell like orange blossom. So why, Kelly, because my hands are just so dry from paper, you'll see that they crack, and because I'm doing this a lot. And I'm washing my hands a lot and so um, they just get super super dry and so I put lotion on I do it especially before videos because um, you guys would see my my crocodile hands and it's not pretty all right so I should have done this before but to me I just rub the glue and it will dry because it just kind of absorbs in the glitter and everything so now you don't want to put a dimensional on his head because his head's going to rest right up here so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put two on his body I like to make sure I put two just because if one fails I have another one holding something so I'm going to put this here but I would put a glue dot on his head okay I'm gonna fix his wings in a second here so we're just gonna put him up there like this I'm gonna fix his wings because they're not adhered yet so I'll lay those I'll lay something on that and then this I can cut a little bit all right so that's fine so there's that one. So that's our fourth card. Yay, cards are done. So all these little pieces can go. I need to pull out my black dots here that I have. So I don't know where I put them. So we're just gonna go with we're going to go with these because I don't know what I did with my other ones. So, um, that's our fourth one. Oh, I'm glad you're excited. No, don't like cherry blossom. Mm -mm. Okay, so that's the fourth one. I'm going to set this one down because I need to put a, a block on it. We'll just move that aside. All right. Yay! time for bingo you guys hanging in there all right everybody good luck and here we go 21 
lots of bees already. Five. Make sure again that you're on live chat. Oh, B-I-N already? 17. Three. B-I-N-G from Seal. All right, I'm slowing down a bit. Lots of Bs, B-I. All right, next one, 15. There's a lot of B's. Some B-I's, B-I-N's. There we go. Twenty-two. All right, B eyes. Number nine. Number nine. Now remember, if you do want to take advantage of the free shipping and put your order in on the 21st, um, just remember, everybody else is too, and so your order may take take just a bit. Yay, Katie's in it. <laughs> Number seven. Darlene, Diane, Cheryl, Leslie, all B-I-N's. Ooh, Yvette with the B-I-N-G. Darlene. Uh-oh, some B-I-N-G's. Yeah, let's shake it up. Get your numbers. All right, are we ready? 27. 27. Yay, Tracy's in it with the B-I. Ooh, Leslie, B-I-N-G, Kelly. Olivia finally has a letter. Kelly, just so you know, you can only win one time. But continue to play for fun. All right. 19. Nineteen. Thank you, Kelly. Ooh, Olivia's got a B I. Patricia, B I N. Okay. Oh, Marsha has a B I. All right, here we go. 26, 26, 26. Don't forget you guys, I'd love a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Trying to build my YouTube and subscribing is a huge help. Also, you'll get reminded of when I have videos. Just make sure you click the bell and hit all. So when I do have a video, you'll get notified. 20. Joanne's on with a B.
Yeah, and for Trina. Angie Ann. All right. Now we're playing a little longer on this game, huh? 29. 29. B.I. for Nancy Lee and for Mary. A bing for Kathy. Mary, I'm glad you got to play with us. I hope you're feeling better. All right. There we go. Number six. We have one more chance after this bingo, after we do our last project. And for those of you playing, you will get a PDF of this, so just sit back and relax. You can always see what I send you and measure it and all that, and you'll have that. But um, when I mail these out, I will mail that out to you, email it to you. All right, Kathy has a B-I-N-G, and I'm holding number four. So many of you are so close. B-I-N for Mary, Jian Bing, B-I-N Sue, Carol. All right, no bingo yet, huh? All right, here we go. All right, pulling it out. Number one. Number one, a B-I-N for Stephanie and Nancy Lee and a Bing for Mary and Patricia. Leslie has a bingo. Let's check it and see, is there anybody else? Da, 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 da. One, five, nine, do, 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 do. 9, 22, and 27. Congratulations, Leslie. I don't see any others. Are there any others? Okay, i got to write this down. Leslie, Leslie, number three. Congratulations, Leslie. Yay. All right, let me put this over here. Oops. I just dropped my list. Congratulations. Yay. Yay, yay. We're almost done, you guys. One more project and one more bingo. I think it's actually going a little faster than I thought it would. So I hope that creating those cards weren't too fast for you guys and you guys got it okay. And um, if you ever have any questions for a bingo, even after when you're working on your projects, please let me know. Um, I do not mind answering any questions and helping you out. All right, so the last project, and I may have put my, I think I did put my, um, my little black, stones in here already. So your last project's going to come like this, okay? And we are going to, I have an extra one in here just to kind of help us along with time. So we're going to pull it out. That's why it says me. So this is how your project is going to look right here. Okay. So what we're doing is we are going to make this cute little box to put your cards in. Okay, so you can put all your cute little cards in there and it's a cute little gift or it's just a cute little thing to have on your desk, but you're gonna get the PDF to make this and the PDF that I'm gonna give you is also gonna show you how to um, create your own DSP and then it's gonna, and how I did that 
and then it's going to also give you all the measurements of all your pieces of paper. Leslie, do you have to order from only the new catalog or also the mini? No, Leslie, actually, as a customer, you will need to order, and actually as a demonstrator also, because I've already maxed out my ordering for new product, um, and your order has to go in in April. So it can be from the mini or the current catalog. So if there's nothing you want in the current catalog, go for the mini, and then I would suggest paper, adhesive, stuff like that, um, if there's nothing else that you want from the main catalog. But um, also check the last chance list. There's a lot of things on there too. Yeah, um, did you happen to send PDF for the last month? Um, if you played bingo, if there was a PDF, I can't remember off the top of my head, then yes, I emailed them out. So I'll double check for you, Terry. Let me write that down. PDF for March. Okay, I'll double check for you. Um, okay, good. Yeah, Mary, it's a great, it's a great little gift. It's a very sturdy box. It's very handy. You can put Velcro on it if you want to, but honestly, or little magnets, but you really don't need to. Um, I did this a long time ago, but I, I made my own DSP, and um, I will grab one for you and show it to you in just a minute. Um, but yeah, so this is what we're going to do. So this is what you're going to get, and I, I need to grab, let me grab something really quick. I'm going to grab my instructions so I can show you, and I'm going to grab that other box really quick. My room is a little harder to walk across to get my items, but I wanted to make sure I had that PDF as soon as I can find it. You know, I think I took it in the front room, but that's okay. I will bring it up on my computer. All right, so this is the other one. And so I, I made my own, oh, my bow, I think I had something there, but I don't remember what. Oh, a sequin. These have been through a lot of moves. But this is what I did with these, and they're just little note cards that I made. So you can, you know, make your own little cards. The note cards are a great idea. It comes with your envelopes and everything that you can put them together and create with this. So. Uh, for me also, Marcy, for the PDF for March. Okay. Yeah, it all went out to a, an email to everybody at one time, but everybody was blind copied, so um, I'll look, but you should have it. Okay, so you're going to get all of these pieces, and my picture is going to show you. I'm going to reduce my picture here really quick. Well, I think I'm going to remember. So this is what I want you to do is take all of your pieces and lay them on here. So you're going to lay them all because you're going to do some cutting. And I did this so you can kind of see, but I'm going to give you all the directions on what to cut, where to cut, so that you can create this from scratch. Okay. But I did the scoring for you. I don't know if you can see it, but I did all the scoring for you. You're going to take your longer pieces and put them here. So this is going to kind of help you see where you're going to be cutting and what you're doing. But all the directions will be on the PDF, which I don't have in front of me, but that's okay. All right, you're going to put your longer ones here and your long ones here. Your skinny ones out here. And I have a picture of exactly this on your system, and then it's going to have your measurements. So don't worry, you'll have all that. All right, so I did put your, your stones in there. I put them separate, so that's okay. All right, so you're gonna have four of these. So these are longer. The longer ones go to the top because you're gonna be cutting those. The shorter ones are gonna go on the bottom, right here. And then this is gonna go up here like this, okay? So I can tell you right now, that we're going to take your, my pencil, and this is all in the PDF, but since I don't have it, 
we're going to cut this off. This is your flap you want to keep, okay? We are going to cut this off. Cut, 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 cut. Okay, now you're going to notice that you have a mark right here, okay? So we are going to cut right there, all right? So again, you're going to see there's a little tick mark there. You're going to go to the corner and you're going to cut it. This is all on your PDF, okay? Now, from here, same thing, you are going to go from here to here, okay? And same thing up here. You're going to go from here to here. And you're going to see the tick marks. So we're going to move all this out of the way. So see all that? You're going to see all that. You're, you're going to have this mark here. And this is telling you cut this off and cut this off, okay? So that is all what you're going to do. And that's what this is right here, okay? So now you're going to cut all of this off, okay? And you're going to cut this off. Again, these are your flaps. So this is all going to be on your project. So I prefer to, to get my larger scissors and we are going to cut this all off. And I wish I had my PDF in front of me, but I don't, but we're just going to wing it. All right. So what I like to do is I like to just go straight on one side or the other of your, of your score. So I like to go up the closer to the side that's staying. And then you're going to cut this off. And this flap, you're going to wedge it. Okay, so just do a little wedge like that. Okay, so you have your little wedge. And remember, whenever you're doing your wedges like this, what I like to do is if they're pointed out, they're all going to be pointed out. Okay, if they're, if they're downwards, whatever, these are going to be both pointed outward. All right, so this one right here is going to go to the corner. And you can use your trimmer if you want, but I'm just going to do it this way. And then from here to the corner. And you're going to see pencil. We can erase that. You don't even have to use it. I just wanted to show you guys so you can see it. All right. You're going to go all the way down. You're going to angle this because that's where that other angle is. And you'll see all that on your PDF. Okay. And then you're going to go inward again. Your, your little... Tabs are going to go outward with a small wedge and a small wedge. And it doesn't really matter. They don't have to be exact. They're going to be um, glued inward anyway. Okay, so there's that one. And you want it, everything to be the same on each side. So I hope that makes sense. This is thick paper. It is the basic white thick. Okay, so you're going to just wedge, and of course I'm trying to do this kind of what, somewhat fast so that you guys aren't here all night, but for those of you participating, you will get the PDF. All right, so now I've got to do this side, and I'm just going to go all the way up, and I'm going to wedge that side. Okay, I'm hoping this is making sense to you guys. So I like to put the paper on just so I can see, and especially because my PDF is in the other room, I was working on it. It's done, I just need to put it all. Okay, so this is all trash. All right, and then there's also another picture just like this. So you can see where everything is, what you're dealing with and how it's going to go together all right so now we are going to adhere all of our pieces and put them together so let's do that
And again, this paper is from the tulips. So I loved the, and this is how I decided to go with the um, Poppy Parade, as that's what this is, is Poppy Parade. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do all Poppy Parade and not do real red, which you wouldn't even know because they're so bold and red. They're so pretty, the ladybugs. All right, just, I just kind of make a line, you know, just a little white line around, you know, all the edges just to give it a little look to it. And now we're gonna put, let me erase this one since I, okay. All right, so we're gonna put that one up there. So these two are the same size, these two are the same size, this is a different size, and of course on the sides they're the same. So it's really not that difficult when you're trying to figure it out. So when I make DSP, what I do is I make another one of these just like this, and then I just trim it down. Well, now I have these sizes, so you could actually do it differently. But what I do is I take this and then I just, um, you know, stamped it. And that's how I came up with the other one. All right, so now we have our long pieces. And these are all folding up. They're not going to be exact. So when you fold them, um, you could varnish these ahead of time too. So you can see your lines a little bit easier. So definitely you can do that. Totally up to you, whatever works for you. So now we're going to do our sides. So now I kind of at this point, put your put your papers on there. Some of them you're going to cut, and I'll show you that in a minute. But let's get them all on there so we don't mix any of your papers up. The shorter ones at the bottom. This one's shorter. This one's shorter. These are taller. So those are going to go up there. And the reason I made those longer is because you saw already that I cut, oh, you know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. I'm noticing that this is, there we go. Um, they're a little bit longer because it just depends on your cut up here and how you do it. So um, this way it kind of gives you a better idea of, you know, you have a little bit of wiggle room. All right, so let's, I saw somebody say it's 4.30 in the morning and you're watching. Thank you so much. I didn't see who it was. I'm trying not to read too much of messages because you guys will be here all night. Yeah, I don't mind. Like it's that, My husband's so funny. He's like, I know when I make you this new craft room that you're never going to come out. And I'm like, well, kind of. And then I, the other day I said, you know what I would really like is a refrigerator. And he started laughing. He's like, that's not happening. <laughs> Which I knew was going to be his answer. Okay, so I'm going to take this one off and we're going to go ahead and glue this one on. Because that one is going to be one that we're going to cut. Okay, and you know, it doesn't really matter where the dots go. Um, when I cut these, I did cut them like this one, this one, this one, the, you know, in a row on the paper, but it really doesn't matter. All right, we're going to take this one and do the same thing. You know what's funny, you guys, is you're talking about always needing a card. Um, I'm the worst. I mean, I, and it's funny because now that I'm doing you know, bingo and all of this stuff, it is, it's really funny because 
like my brother-in-law's birthday just passed and I'm like, yeah, your card's in the mail, ha ha, because I haven't had a chance to make his card. And I like to make cards for family and stuff. Okay, so see how this one is right here? So what I could do is I'm gonna lay that down there and you could turn it over and mark it, but I want it just a little bit shorter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to either fold it, see how I folded it right over the edge, or you can crease it with your nail or whatever. And I wanna to go to a corner. So I'm just gonna go right here where it started and I'm gonna go up to the corner. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and I'm just gonna put that on there and then I'm gonna look at this and go, okay, I need it a little bit thinner at the bottom. So right here, I'm just gonna sliver off a tad and I just took a little piece off right there. And make sure you get that point. And then I always try to wipe that off because you don't want it all over your stuff. Oh, and what I did forget is you could take your other piece, put it up against it. Okay, so now let's see where we're at. That's this piece. Put it up against it, put them down to the bottom. And now you can cut. Oh, I don't need my big scissors. I can cut from the corner down to right there. So now, because you put back to back, okay, make sure you put them face to face so that this can go here and this can go here. So I just line it up. And now you have that little bit of white right there. I'm gonna make sure this one's about the same and it is. Did you see? Yeah, Joanne was after the fact. I, she said B, like way in the middle. So I think Joanne was way behind um, where we were. Because last bingo, I told her if she heard us at a certain point to try to move forward. So I think she was a ways behind. So I, I will double check that though. Because I can, when I go back, I'll watch it and then I'll see where she would have won it and see where, where the winner actually was and see what happened. But I'm pretty sure she was behind us in the bingo before. All right, so now I'm just going to make sure I crease this. And we're going to do the same thing. Okay, so this is going to come up like this. And we're going to do the same up above with folding that in. And doing our trimming on these pieces. Okay, so these and then these, but I'm not going to fold those quite yet. So now we're going to do the same thing. Just kind of put that on there. And you could just rub it like this. Okay, now see how you can see where the crease is? I don't know if you can see it better on this side or the other one. See how it, you can see the crease? So put it on there. Get a good idea of where it's at. And you can take your bone folder and just go right along like that. Okay, and now I'm going to go slightly less than that. And I'm going to go from this corner to right where that was. Now remember, this one's not going to go to the corner because I made these longer for you. Well, that's okay, Terry. Thank you for checking. But I'm pretty sure that's what happened. All right, so I'm going to use this because this one's got a really thin tip. And I'm going to make sure I get adhesive on that. Oops, again, I could have done this first. So just align your piece up. Okay, just like that. Face to face, remember, good good versus good. Remember, this is like quilting. Now you want to do, you want them to be the same. Okay, this one's going to go over here. Oops, that's too close in. 
There we go. So there's one, and then we've got this one. I think it's because I do have cards ready, but I want to make a special card for people, you know? Like my daughter, one time my daughter says, why did you make my card on TV, on, on your show? Why don't you, um, why don't you make me a, a, a card that's not, not everybody is making? <laughs> it's like, okay, I could do that. But I was trying to save time. And actually, I did make that card specifically for her. I just happened to have shown it on um, the video, and she got it. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's go ahead and fold these sides in and crease them. It just makes everything a lot more crisp and nice when you can do this, right? And now I want my adhesive, my flaps, to go inside my lid, okay? So we're gonna put our adhesive right here. I'm gonna go ahead and use seal. Now normally I put stuff together, I would do liquid because I just think it, that liquid is gonna hold forever. And, but because for our video purposes, and this seal holds really well, so I don't think this is gonna be an issue. But I also, <coughs> I'm going to go all the way to the edge because when you put this together, your edge is going to be sticking out and you don't want your project, let's, let's do this one, you don't want your cards that you're going to be inserting to catch on anything. So we want to make sure that we get a really good coverage right here on your flap, right? All right, so now this is our flap. You're going to pull it over nice and flat and adhere those. Okay, so there's our lid. Now we're going to do the same thing here. The front is going to be on the outside. So because your cards go on the inside, I don't want this on the inside like this because it, it could possibly catch. So what I'm going to do is I want this to go on the outside. Okay, I know it sounds weird, but it's because this is going to flip up and cover it. Does that make sense? So the flaps right here, you're going to do the inside and the outside. It's going to go here, and then these are going to come up right on top of them. All right? So what we're going to do is we're going to add adhesive, and this doesn't have to be as well covered because it's going to be, except I just keep getting it everywhere, it's going to be in between. So make sure you get it on there. And then I'm going to do also, and just one, one strip is enough. You just want something to hold the outside. So whatever works for you. Okay, and then this side. Okay. So now this is going to go on the outside. Nice and square and flush, flush, not flush, flush. This is going to go on the outside. Okay. And now this and when you have the directions in front of you, it's going to be a lot easier. And then I'm going to do this side. So this is on the outside, and then this, fold it, 
and turn it and have it right there on the outside. Again, this one's right there. Take this one. Oops, did we get it out? Yeah, we did. All right, so there now is your box. Okay. So there's your box. Again, I did a leaf. So we're going to add the leaf on there. And it's going to hang off, but you don't want it to be... Um, you don't want it to hang over everywhere. You want it to... So put your finger right where it's, the adhesive starts and then just kind of go right like that. So you have your leaf right where you want it. Here's your black. You're going to have your paper. You're going to have your bumble, your uh, ladybug. Let's do our sentiment, which says you can bug me anytime. Oh, it's, it'll be easy, Gloria. It's all scored for you. So um, just kind of follow the pictures. That's the best advice I can give you. Follow the pictures and it'll be easier than you think. And all the DSP is going to be cut for you too. So that'll, that'll be the easy part. And what you might want to do is as you're going along, just um, make your notes on your thing if there's anything that you know either in the video or as you're going i took pictures of stuff just so i know exactly where i'm at and what's going on so that you know it'll be easier for you to kind of see what's going on so All right, we're going to add our sentiment. And I did leave a bit of black around just because I kind of wanted to add a bit of a border. Oops. No. Don't push it down until you're ready. All right, and so then I just... Don't get what you want. Put your dimensionals on. We're going to have one more bingo. So there's that. We're going to just kind of, again, your, your B, if you have the stamp set, obviously do that first. See, and I did do my other one already, um, but I kind of wanted to show you guys exactly what you're getting and how to do it. So... Um, I chose to do it that way. All right, this I would recommend your Stamparatus because it's the black. And you guys saw me do the wings. So I have, this is what I have in my bag, because, in my stamp set, because I've used it with multiple things. And I have a set of wings, so we're just gonna use those. Save you some time. All right, and we're going to use this ladybug. Do you guys have any questions on the box? Anything that maybe wasn't clear? Or again, if you see the, the PDF and have questions, just let me know. Okay, I would really focus on the antenna on this. Um, but again, I would use your Stamparatus. Sorry, my head got in the way. All right, so let's just see how this came out. Okay, see, that's a whole lot of white right there. And this again brings me to the fact that punching stuff out or die cutting for you is not the best without stamping. So we're just going to cut this one down a little bit. So I would just take off a lot of this white. And even the antenna didn't come out, so I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. But we're just going to kind of trim this a little bit. It's hard to trim from this side. Just 
just a little. And then take your um, black marker Even though these are off, you still want to have your antennas, right? So you can fix your bumblebee, I mean your, your ladybug, and do it the right way. Um, again, I would highly suggest getting the stamp set just because it's going to be way easier to do than trying to stamp on see if you have this the um, stamp set before the punch but I did send that because people were requesting that so that's what I did I would stamp first and then I would punch all right I'm gonna do um, dimensionals just for the video purposes but I would normally use ink I mean a uh, liquid glue Tashana, welcome back. We have one more bingo after this. All right, so there's that. Our little ladybug. We're going to pop him up there. Our flowers I have stamped here, and I gave you extra paper to stamp. And I did them separately, so just kind of doesn't have to be perfect I went around all three as if I had a die and like you know if you've seen me I just kind of go around the best I can even if it has little inserts little grooves whatever on the outside I try to follow that it just gives it a little more character So just kind of go around and get your flowers and it's okay if it has the white around the outside and right now I'm doing them all together and then I'll separate them remember you're moving the paper not your hand all right and now I'll go around this one Okay, there's one. Oops, this one has a white in there I didn't fit. Okay. And if you're making, if you're gonna make a bunch of these, I would just do a bunch of flowers at one time, cut them all out. I mean, you can always use flowers from another set that might have a die or a punch or whatever, but I like these. I try to keep stuff in the same because not everybody has multiple sets of different, you know, stuff. Uh, you could, yeah, so you definitely could just punch it in black. Yes. Um, my purpose for doing it this way is I just wanted to show you all the different ways you could do it. Um, you could use the stamp set. You could do it in the black. This one just kind of shows the outline of the white and gives you something you know, a little different to look at. So that's why I chose to do this one this way. All right, so these, what I did is I take my, my tool and just I just kind of you know, gave them a little bit of shape, just poke them in the middle. All right, and then I'm going to do a glue dot. And a glue dot and a glue dot. Okay, so I'm going to put this one right. Oh, let's do that one last. Put that back on. I want to do that behind the sentiment next to it we're going to put that one there we're going to put the little one right here let's add the bow and we're just going to kind of put that right there 
it's going to be right here on the leaf. Remember, that's not on there yet. Put it right about there so we can make sure it's going to be on the lid part. All right, we're just going to put that right about there, and your flower is going to poke up right there. And All right, and then our sentiment. Now, do you see the difference? This is the bee I already, or the bumblebee, I mean, the ladybug I already had. And do you see the difference in color? This is real red. This is Poppy Parade. So the Poppy Parade really does make it pop. All right, so we're just gonna put our sentiment about there. Put our flower about there okay and now let's pop our little our little ladybug up i'm going to do two because it's on the box so two for the body one for the head normally i was doing one and one but this is on the box it's going to be a lot of movement opening and closing getting your cards out so we're just going to put this I'm going to put these up a little bit, right about there. We're going to take our three. So don't forget when you're opening this package, you've got three little, um, the black mat dots in there. I don't want you to lose them. So in the other bag with all of your mini uh, note cards, you'll have a bunch of them for all your projects, but then this one has them separate. I thought I did them and then all of a sudden I was questioning myself. All right, so there's your box. And so your box is done. You could do Wink Estella on your little dots if you wanted. You could add rhinestones. You can do so many other things to this that you want. So there you go, there's your projects. So I'll show them to you all when we're done. We'll move those out of the way. Are we ready for our very last bingo? <coughs> Kathy, does the ladybug have dice too? No, just the punch. So she has this right here. It has the punch. Does ladybug have dice too? No, just this. Where are the leaves from? The leaves are from this stamp set. This one. What are the names of the dies where, um, where it looks kind of like a mirror, but has white cardstock inside? And a bow at the top. Oh, 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 this one. This one, this die is from, it's the new, it won't be available for customers until uh, May 3rd. And it is called Fabulous Frames. And this one here, it's number 159163. And it's got the little corners on it, an oval, the little plate there. And this frame is really nice too. So yeah, this is a really nice set. Okay, so there's that. All right, so let's do our last bingo and then we'll sh I'll show you all the projects and then um, I can answer any questions for you guys. All right, are we ready for bingo? I'm glad you guys like it. Oh, thanks, Patricia. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, but the white outline makes it more just, oh yeah, it does. Hi, Anique, how are you? Yes, Tashana, you will. Okay, so number 17. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Number 26. Ooh, 
got a bee already. Oh, thanks, Tracy. Number 22. I am excited about next month's bingo. There's a link below. And of course, on my blog, I showed you at the beginning how to open up the link and you can get um, to your registration and your payment all on the same page. Number 30. That way we can get um, get everybody registered and I'm going to start creating for that next class. Next bingo. Number 8. Got a good start. Mary has a B.I. already. I really appreciate you guys helping me. I'm playing bingo. A lot of people have asked me, how do we help you with your trip besides orders? This helps me. Um, 25. This helps me um, buy product to create your projects with. It helps me, you know, I like to do the gifts for you guys. Um, yes, postage has gone up, products have gone up, shipping has gone up, all that stuff has gone up, but um, I'm going to try my hardest to keep it at 35 for now. And I know my husband's like, your projects are too crazy for 35, but that's what I'm going to do. So I hope you guys will continue sticking with me and doing bingo. It's so much fun. I love it. Number nine. There's a lot of bees. Make sure you're on live chat. Make sure you're pulled up all the way up, current. Dana has a B-I-N. And number five. Ooh, we're doing better. We're at three hours, you guys, and I was just thinking, oh, this is gonna be longer, but not too bad. I in all of my customers I'm um, hopefully you you're already getting your catalogs some people have already been receiving them 20 Kathy and Leslie with a BIN and Dana so hopefully you're getting them if you are not a customer but you need a catalog and you do not have a demonstrator I would love to be your demonstrator and I can send you a catalog you can go on my blog and contact me is up at the top and you can fill out a form there and I can get a catalog sent to you. 28. B-I-N for Kathy and Trina and Katie. 11. Now they're coming in. Tracy's on the board. Sue and Olivia with the BI. Gloria, Yvette. Carol with the BIN now. <gasps> BING for Carol. Number three. Diane and Stephanie have a BI. They're coming in. I'm going to wait just a bit. Oh, this dimensional. Whose is that? All right, 27. 27. Olivia with the B-I-N, G-M. Ooh, Leslie with the B-I-N-G. It doesn't count, but she's still playing. That's good. Makes you think of, do I keep the same numbers or do I change them? Uh-oh, B-I-N-G for Diane. All right, 13. Trisha and 
and seal. All right, darling, of the B I. Here we go. Fifteen. Fifteen. Ooh, Trisha has a B I N G. Dana. Diane has a bingo. All right, Diane, let's take a look. We have five, nine, 11, 13, and 20. Diane has a bingo. Is there anybody else? Congratulations, Diane. Diane, bingo number four. Congratulations. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, I don't see any more. None. All right, congratulations. So the winners tonight were bingo number one for Kelly, bingo number two for Jane, bingo number three for Leslie, and bingo number four for Diane. Congratulations, everybody. Here are the projects that we did. Here is card number one, card number two, and then we have number three, number four, let's put these down here. Number, oops, oh, number five, and look at six projects and a box. Look at that, all that in one bingo. You never know what you're gonna get with my bingos, right ladies? So thank you so much, everybody, for playing. I hope you guys will play um, Maze Bingo. It's already up. It's below, and there's a link. There's also, you can go straight to my blog and sign up through there. Oh, you guys are so welcome. Don't forget, too, I have a paper share coming. So for only $60, you're going to get approximately 169 sheets of paper, six by six. I take the full package of paper and divide it by four. So the only thing you're doing is you're, pay, you're sharing the cost with three others. So there's four of you. you. Each four people go into a pack is basically what it is. So you'll get a quarter pack of every package of paper that I can get. And if those papers are not available, excuse me, when they are, I will get them to you. Um, but the first round will be everything that we can get a hold of, and we haven't heard if there's anything not available. Um, so I think you're going to be getting a lot of paper. And don't forget, there's reverse sides that work with stuff. So if you see something that you're not thrilled with, the reverse side is probably going to be paper that you'll like. Um, this will also include the specialty paper. Uh, oh, you guys are so welcome. Thanks, you guys. Thanks to Shauna. Yes, so the projects are done. You're going to get a bag that looks kind of like this. 
And this one does not have everything in it yet, but um, it will. So these should go out on Thursday. Um, I need to package them up and there's not a lot. Your labels are mailing labels and everything are done. And so I will get those done. Thank you, Leslie. Again, thank you for the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It really helps my business and subscribing is huge to my YouTube business. And um, that does help me a lot and um, keeps my videos up to the top. I'm hoping others will see my videos too and want to join Bingo. Next month, if you bring a friend to Bingo ha that has not played before, if they come to Bingo and in the notes section, they tell me who referred them to Bingo, I will send both of you a little something special. So um, it will be in your kits for your bingo. <laughs> Thanks, Nancy Lee. This is my therapy and um, I love it. I, I have so much fun with it. And bingo is really my favorite um, event. I love doing bingo and have so much fun. So thank you um, for joining me. I hope to see you guys in at May's bingo. Remember, you can sign up now and you can pay before the deadline, which I believe is the 13th of May. The reason is I like to get my projects done and ready to go so I can mail them to you immediately after bingo. It also helps me make sure I have everything in your kits and um, get those out to you. Now, that being said, if at a certain point, I let's say I have 50 people, I may do 60 kits or 65 kits. It depends on what my cutoff is and when my date is. So this is gonna be an 11 day um, time because I've got four birthdays in May. Um, I've got my leadership event for uh, my incentive trip thing in May. May is gonna be super busy, but I want to create with new product for you. So everything will be new and I will get that list out as soon as I can to you so you know what it is. And um, I hope that helps. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a fantastic rest of your night or morning, and I will see you on Thursday. I will be back Thursday with a card. I'll see you then. Bye, everybody.